So my name is Peyton. Um, I'm from Minnesota, and I've been coming to camp for probably, I don't even know now, 10 years. So I got into wheelchair track and field in probably 2009, um, and I've been doing that ever since. Um, I did it through um, a couple different uh, rec programs and then through my high school. And now I'm currently competing with the University of Arizona Adaptive Track and Road Racing Team. Uh, in Tucson here in Arizona. So so I first got into or got introduced to wheelchair camp uh, by Bob Bardwell. Um, he kind of just, uh, we, we met him at a race um, in Lewiston and he was telling us about the camp. So we came out for maybe a day or two just to check it out. Um, and then the next year we came back for a couple more days. Um, and then the next year we came out for the full camp and we've been coming ever since that. Um, and just like, the impact that it made on me those first couple times coming and um, the people there and um, you know just the impact it made on me is what um, keeps me keeps me coming back. I think camp uh, really helps you to develop skills and independence um, just with like the the camaraderie that you have there and the different people that you meet um, hearing all the different stories and um, what those people have had to overcome and how they've overcome it um, kind of hearing other people's quote unquote survival stories helps you um, to overcome your struggles and challenges. There's one specific camper that's really had an impact on me. Um, one impactful experience that I've had in general is maybe um, a couple of years ago when I was a leader um, and getting to you know pick all those uh, wheelers and uh, picking the you know, the, the younger kids to be on my team and getting to lead those kids and um, kind of kind of teach them, teach them the ropes and uh, kind of different skills and stuff and show them that anything is possible if you just put your mind to it. That was really kind of an eye-opening experience to me. I think this camp is different from other camps just because, you know, it's obviously it's the only camp of its kind. There's nothing else like it, um, literally. Um, and just the, the camaraderie that you get and the people that you meet, um, the skills that you learn and the independence that you can gain from it is uh, what makes it different. I think my experience coming to camp has uh, impacted me um, just again by learning those uh, skills and how to become more independent and um, how to take care of myself on my own, you know. Um, I moved across the country to go to college and I'm living on my own. I definitely would not be able to do that if I hadn't come to camp. My advice to someone who's considering coming to camp or volunteering is just do it. Um, you know, there's ways that we can get you out here no matter what. Um, and if you just come out here even for a day, you know, like I said, that, that's how I got started coming to camp is I came for a day and I just kept coming back and coming back and um, gaining more experience and meeting new people and you know just just do it really <laughs> one of my favorite memories is probably scuba diving was fun <laughs> that was that was the first time for me so that was definitely something i had to overcome a fear of you know i don't like water <laughs> so scuba diving was it, it was an experience for me and it was actually really fun so one of the quotes that i live by is from kobe bryant and he's something along the lines of like you know, those times when you don't want to work, but you work anyways, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, get up early and you work hard, that is actually the dream. And when you do that, what you'll see happen is that your dreams won't come true, but something greater will. And then he points up to his jerseys in the rafters. And to me, that kind of just epitomizes what it means to never give up and never stop chasing your dreams, no matter the circumstance and what can become possible when you do that.